So welcome back to another tutorial on Clo 3D and this tutorial we're creating a working animation like this but I'll be doing it on this UD as you can see on this screen right now. So let's begin. So what I'll do first is to um export the animation as um this uh, sorry the character as OBG, just the character alone. So let me just save it somewhere in my document. Uh okay, I'm coming. I'll be saving it in this OBJ folder. So um, the next thing I'll do is to name it as character. So it's going to be in this OBJ folder in my document, character, save. So what you do next is to deselect pattern and deselect gra graphics, sorry. Deselect it and just leave only the avatar because you're already um, animating this avatar and click on OK. So let's go back to Blender because we're using Blender in this tutorial. So file, import, obj. Uh, yeah, this is the document. So I'm going to this obj folder and this is my character, character obj. I'm going to import this. So this is my character here in this sense. So the next thing I'll do here is to export it as uh, fbx or obj, either of, either of the two, sorry. So obj, my obj um, folder, then let me just name a character, animate, I have exported it as, uh, sorry, so it has been exported as fbx, then I'll go back to my browser, or my browser, um, <coughs> I'll be uploading it here on mixamo.com, so let's go to um, upload character, click on upload character here then click on select character file okay and go to my document and let's go to my obj folder mno yeah oh um so we uploading this character and image So now that our character has been um, uploaded, the next thing we'll do is to click on next. Then we we'll start dragging this to the necessary um, position. You can follow this manual. So we are dragging this to the chain. Let me see. Let me put it up a bit. Yes. So the wrist. Is also there. Am I right? Okay, let's pull it down a bit. So, elbow. And the knee. Then the groin. Yeah, I think it's yeah, and then this is the going yeah, and that's all. So next, so finally, the rigging is set. So the next thing we'll do is click on next, next, yes. So it's going to replace the character I've previously uploaded here. So this is our character here. So just search for walking or any animation you want to use on your um, clothes. Sorry, spacebar. I'll be enter. Then I'll be selecting this one here. This is the walking animation. Sorry about the slow network. Okay. So these are character working here. So to make it stay in a place, just select in a in place. Sorry, check the in place. 
then the next thing we'll do is to um also uh, reduce the increase the arm space because of the um we don't know how thick the clothes cloth is so that it won't touch each other during the animation and look sticky so we just increase the arm space to probably 60 something or so let his hand be wider a bit to avoid the clothes part touching each other during the animation and also the speed of the walking to of the walking um animation you can also reduce the speed by dragging it backward by uh, reducing the overdrive sorry so let's reduce the overdrive to probably let me see maybe 35 will be better so i think this is um good enough for the animation we can just increase the frame here yes and yes here yeah. so this is it here so the next thing we should do is to download the avatar or download the animation sorry so uh we scan here yeah, download text frame per second obviously fdx so preparing to download just a moment so now we are back to blender so the next thing i'll do is to um, import the fbx file this is fbx i'll go to my download yeah this is the new fbx file today 115 yeah <coughs> import fbx i think i need to hide this one okay so let me just delete this one i think i'll just delete this one instead uh, so let's leave this animation uh let's drag the timeline up drag it to the okay let's move to the back so what we'll do next is to maintain the um force pose like this pose this pose particular pose you have to <coughs> get this pose so what you do is to um select the bone um go to pose mode go to pose um okay wait wait before we do that let's drag this forward a bit like maybe 20 frame or 30 frames let me just use i think 20 frame is fine yes so post mode yes post clear transform all so this is the particular post you are um getting so this is the resting pose sorry for the clothes so click on i sorry i and select available to keyframe so it's just going to start from this pose then it's going to start the um walking animation as you can see but then you might want it to walk longer than this particular um frame this is just 90 frame that's about like three seconds or so so for you to do that you just have to just highlight or let's say select all these keyframes here select all of them i think you place your place this timeline um this um <coughs> this timeline here select that and click on since you've highlighted uh, the keyframe just copy and paste it here and paste ctrl v to paste sorry i need to go back to object mode object mode um say no object so let me try this again sorry select and uh, i need to paste this should i just uh, why i'm coming copy and i uh, and paste yes i don't know i face a lot of that a lot so if it doesn't work by pressing ctrl c and ctrl v just um left click and um, so just right click and select copy and also you can click on ctrl v to paste or right click and ctrl v to paste so you can do the same so i think 230 frames or let me just reduce it so depending on how long you want your character to walk you get so it's very important let me just leave it on one on 160 frames and let me save this one yes 160 frames uh let's go to file let's go to import so we are going to import this file as um alembic i'm uh, sorry 
export as alembic i don't know how many who's still got it and so we're going to export as alembic file here so i'm going to save it in this obj folder and let me just save it as uh walking i think this is i don't need all this so, yeah once more yeah once once so everything here is fine so export as alembic So finally, it's done exporting. So let's go back to Clo 3D. The next thing we'll do is to delete this avatar because we don't need it anymore. Delete avatar, file, um, import as Alembic here. So uh -huh. this is the working. So this is the new file. This is the working Alembic file. So I'm going to import it here. Yes, add select add don't forget to select add here 30 frames and click on ok so these are our um animated character here. anyways alembic um, loses texture so but if you need this texture of this particular character that means you need to like export the this um animated clothes back to blender without this character all we just need is for this character to um give us the um animation of the the working animation i will explain i will explain after or i will show you after this um uh, after animating this particular od after animating the od so let's go to animation click on ok the this is normal we have to select animations table to give us a perfect uh, animation then sorry i'm going to click on record here so it has record to the end of the 160 frames so this is the record so i'll be skipping this part so when it's done i'll show you the uh results okay so, <clears throat> okay, so now that our animation is ready so let's go back to the start and play it click on the play button and this is the result here You can also decide to hide the avatar by clicking on Shift A to hide the avatar. Here we are. We have a walking animation here. So this is how to create um, a walking animation on your UD on Clue Three D, and not just only UD. You can also use it for um, T-shirts. Or even t-shirt and um trouser shorts any pants you get so this is just as great a working animation then let's go to render yeah uh, let me go back to simulation go back to render <coughs> so let's just set it here So I want to set the position of this go design. So this is it here. Uh, I'll be using 1080 by 1080 to reduce space here. So just click on this setting here. This is the setting we'll be using to adjust this. So change it to 1080 depending on the size of your code design. So let's bring it forward a bit. So this is it um you can decide on any background you want to use for this um um your and for your animation but don't forget next thing you change here is from this image here you have to change it here to animation again so and this is current since you don't have a colorway this is just the current one um if you have multiple colors of um this of the UD you want to design then depending on how many um frames is your animation so if your animation is 160 frames so it's going to run 160 frames for this particular color then if your next color is red it's going to run another 160 frame for that but that's just by the way 
so um this is um texture yes next is your file part so where do you want to save this animation so you can just select here and create a folder you want to use to um save your animation so you can create a folder name it and that will be the folder your animation will be saved you get so um the next thing we are going to do here is the lightning so this is the lightning here as you can see so um <coughs> There are two ways you can do if you select this one here you can select this one when you select this one it's going to show you because that means you've turned on what is hidden behind you see but then that means if you want to add hdri then you can select here to add an hdri instead of using all this white background and stuff like that so but then i will select that you can also change the color of the background here at um, this setting here so this is white here so you can change it to black or any color you want to get so this is it here and also you can make it transparent so you want to transparent background probably you want to get your video editor to add your own um, custom background you can do that here so the lightning here click the drop down arrow sorry so you can pick any of the lightning you feel is okay for this um, particular color or your animation yeah this is it yeah you can use so any option that is available you can just select it and use it for the um, animation So when you are done with that when you are done with your adjustment okay yes we also move to this one rendering setting too so this is the rendering ID, your gpu uh you can make the light quality high since you want the best of it also click the drop down click very high material quality too should also be very high so that you can get the best results also you can adjust your rendering time to get so all these things you can just tweak it to your own um taste so that's just it and then you click on this stop render when you click on stop render click on final render this is to render it as animation so you see the 160 frame here sorry see this so this is the 261 frames here so it's rendering like this so but i'll cancel this but in case you want to use your avatar in this process uh okay <clears throat> this is what you do there are two ways you can export this um hoodie though it's my video so you can export this animation in two ways either use a point catch or you can also use uh alembic does not come with texture if you want the best of texture i advise you use a point catch so but you see the link above don't let me waste our time you see the link above on how to export animation as um point cache to get the best results so just watch that and export this particular file as point card but before you export just make sure you arrange your file this is your um pattern the pattern of this clothes on your ev editor i think when you select this so you can select this or you can just do it manually by resizing so just export it as a um, point cache and then you are good to go So thank you for watching this tutorial on um, Crew 3D animation. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more video.